All right, let's do some serious examples of Lagrange's method. Before we do, take a moment, look over those equations, remember how this works. You're trying to optimize a function f of x constrained to the level set where g equals zero. Now, we're gonna use Lagrange's method. It's not gonna be so bad, it's pretty automatic. That's what's nice about it, but you do have to be careful, especially for the algebra, which can get a little bit hairy sometimes. Let's start off with an example that's really simple, that's really nice. This is a supply chain problem about minimizing cost associated to restocking supplies. Let's say you run a business and your business consumes a certain commodity, at a constant rate, and whenever you run out, you reorder, you restock. How many times does that happen? Let's say that happens Y times per year, and every time you reorder supplies, you order an amount X. Now the constraint is you need a total amount of supplies to run your business per year. Let's say that annual amount is S. So what that is really equal to is X times Y, how much you order, how many times you order per year. So the function g can be expressed as uh, x times y minus s, and then we're looking at the level set where g equals zero. Okay, we also have to minimize something. In this case, we're gonna minimize a cost function that is a linear function of x and y. These coefficients are, first of all, a, which is the average storage cost. If you order a full year supply at once, you have to store it somewhere. Maybe you have to refrigerate it. That entails a cost. The second constant is the order delivery cost. If you just order once per day, you're gonna be spending a ton of money in shipping fees and delivery costs. Okay, so there's the problem, there's the setup. Let's use Lagrange's method in order to minimize that cost subject to the constraint of how much you need per year. So df equals lambda times dg. In this case, our variables are x and y. Let's start with the partial derivatives with respect to x. df dx is equal to a, and dg dx is equal to y. So the first equation is simply a equals lambda times y. If we solve for lambda, then what we're going to get is that lambda is equal to a over y. Okay, now there's an asymmetry here, and when we take the partial derivatives with respect to y, what we're going to get is a very similar equation. Now we're gonna get b equals lambda times x. Solve that for lambda, lambda equals b over x, and now set these equal to each other, eliminate the lambda, and what we conclude is that the ratio of x to y, order amounts per reordering frequency, is in the ratio of b to a, order delivery cost to average storage cost. That still doesn't give us actual numbers. For that, we need to plug it into the constraint equation, saying that s is equal to x times y. Given what we derived earlier, we can easily substitute in for that value of x, x equals uh, b over a times y, we get an equation we can solve and get that x is the square root of b times s over a. That's how much you reorder every time, and y is equal to the square root of a times s over b. That's the frequency, that's how many times you should order per year. And this is so cool. I think this is really interesting that Lagrange's method can tell you the most efficient way to do restocking. Imagine, imagine what it could do with a much more complicated problem with many commodities and many different types of constraints.